Hey everybody, what is up? Tim here, back again for Droid Life. Today, checking out the S Pen found in the all-new Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra. A couple of years ago, we did the same sort of video for the Galaxy Note 8, giving you tips and tricks for the S Pen, and this thing has improved quite a bit over the years, even from the Note 8 to the Note 20 and the Note 20 Ultra. So we're going to, going to go ahead, dive in, show you what's new, show you what you can do, and allow all you Galaxy Note fans to become true S Pen Masters. So here we go, tips and tricks for the Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra S Pen. So first thing is first, let's talk about what has changed with the S Pen. The S Pen uh, now is powered by Bluetooth, which, which allows it some new functionality such as remote control and a few other things. Uh, and it also has its own battery for that Bluetooth um, sender and receiver. So the battery itself is powered by the Galaxy Note 20. So whenever this phone is charging, it's, you know, if you've been using the S Pen quite a bit, it's charging up the S Pen as well. From what I've found, at least the uh, past couple of weeks I've been using the device, you know, this thing holds on to a charge just fine, unless you're constantly using it. I don't know if you're ever going to see it really dip below 100%. Every time I've used it, I've never really seen it anything like below 98%, so I don't think you're going to have any battery problems, not something you have to worry about. So Bluetooth and its own battery, that's awesome, and I don't know if you can hear that too well, but it still clicks, so totally awesome if you like the clicky. Uh, as for features, as you can see here, we've got, this is the uh, kind of off-screen memo thing. This is still here. This hasn't changed at all. What is nice though, and I didn't know if anyone knew this, because I didn't really know, uh, because I hardly, I feel bad because I've been such an S Pen sort of, trust me, like I'm a Note fan, fan boy, uh, but I haven't really gotten much use out of the S Pen over the years, but this year I'm really kind of digging it because they brought down the latency quite a bit. It's just a really good experience with the 120 hertz refresh display and all that. Like, it feels like you're actually writing a uh, pen to paper. So I don't know how they did it, but they did. They did it, and it feels good. So what you can do is say you've got something nice here going on. You can actually hit this little pin button right here in the top right. And that will allow it to pin to the always on display. And so let's say I just go ahead, pin it. Now when the display is turned off, you can see it ever so slightly here. That, that image that I wrote is now pinned to the screen. I can just double tap on that to get rid of it and go back to my regular uh, always on display. Uh, but I can also go back to it and then I can X out of it just by double tapping the X and that gets rid of it. And of course you can save that and it's going to save to Samsung Notes and all that. So, you know, that, that functionality is still there. And to access it, uh, obviously very easy. If, if you've used a Note phone before, you've got the, the screen off and you just go ahead, remove the S Pen and boom, you're ready to write. So that's uh, still, that functionality is still there. And, uh, you know, obviously Samsung people like it quite a bit. So moving on real quick, let's talk about what we're going to do when the S Pen is actually removed. And, and all of your S Pen settings is not buried. Thankfully, inside the settings menu, under advanced features, you're going to see S Pen. It's the first option. And there's a whole ton of things uh, to look into. So first thing that I do, is right here, here under removal it says when s pen is removed uh, i have mine set to do nothing because when i remove the s pen out of the box um the open air command is what's enabled so for example when we take out the s pen here this is what pops up sometimes this can be somewhat annoying if you if that's not if you don't want to access these shortcuts right out from whatever it is you're doing so i disable that uh, and of course you can just always open up that air command and then get to the settings the s pen settings from that little gear icon Which is good to know uh, So if, uh, when s pen is removed, I just have it set to do nothing But you can also have it set to create a note Which is you know great for people if, if you're always taking notes say you're in class or in a meeting and you need to take notes It's good to have that so I just have it set to do nothing because I don't like that air command popping up and kind of getting in my way uh, as for, let's say you do like air command, which is totally fine, no problem. Uh, the air command is going to bring up these shortcuts. 
right and so these as I said in my first 10 things to do video for this device you can customize these and there's actually a lot of options you can create notes smart select on the on the display magnify things on the display uh, glance translate screen write. there's a whole bunch of things and then of course you can add additional ones like live messages Bigsby vision view all notes write on calendar AR doodle etc etc you can move place you just drag and drop or uh, well to drag and drop you just sort of you can uh, organize them that way but then to remove you just hit that big red button and to say if we want to add more like AR doodle we can just long press and drag it over and then organize it however we see fit so that's how you can do that you can also of course add any app that is installed on the phone all right so now that we have our little air action hub here all customized the way we want it let's just go through talk about the new features uh, as well as some of sort of I guess the tips and tricks for a few of these other um, shortcuts and the actions and what they do so first thing let's talk about creating a note this of course is a, a key functionality for the Galaxy Note and first things first well I guess second thing is second uh, go ahead here uh, in the little top right with the little three dots here we've got background color page templates favorites tags finger drawing on so there's a lot of different things you can sort of do just from the basic note functionality and, and one of the things that I do or at least I kind of appreciate to do is change the background color sometimes that black is just sort of like hard to see and uh, there's a whole bunch of different colors you can choose from sort of like these darker ones are always nice and you just hit done and then you can kind of draw on uh, whatever you see fit um, as you can see here we, uh, we have a paginated view this is uh, relatively new for Samsung notes and being able to organize your notes and all these things by different pages and not just one long streak of whatever it is and of course Samsung does have new features for the app itself so let's just say for example I was writing uh, August and, and what sucks about these videos is that you're going to see how terrible my handwriting is uh, but so as you can see I've written it kind of crooked here but shouldn't be too much of a problem because this uh, sort of little mini icon right here in the top right if you hover over that it should just say yeah straighten text so now we can just straighten the text you hit that button and boom it automatically straightens itself out and then I can just tap anywhere and that that change is going to apply um, there's also things such as uh, being able to convert your handwritten which it automatically I, I believe uh, powered by machine learning uh, it takes whatever it is you've written down and translate that translates translates that into text which we can then convert and it's going to boom just pop up say August and then of course you can kind of smart select all that and move it wherever you need to and, and all that good stuff kind of change the size of it and move yeah paste delete copy and then you can copy that into uh, additional apps or anything else you might need um, of course you know what good is a note if you can't change up what everything looks like so you can just tap on each individual little setting up here play with you know if I want a ink pen or a fountain pen or a uh, paintbrush pencil etc etc and change the thickness change the color and really just kind of play around and and like I said the drawing experience on this device has been really really good it's actually quite impressive what Samsung's been able to do with lowering the latency and upping the accuracy it's a good handwriting experience uh, you've got a highlighter here I'm gonna go over that here in a second but then also of course an eraser uh, smart select there's different tools for the smart select uh, there's actually the smart lasso as well as the rectangle um, even if you scroll over more uh, there are different um, uh, different styles for fonts if you want to just type things and all that so shapes there's a whole bunch of different things and of course you can add attachments share these notes um, kind of get a, a, a better view of all the notes that are going on and not edit them and then here in the top top right uh, this is where you can select the opacity of the note itself so say you want something you want to be doing something in the background while ty typing a note not a problem uh, you're just going ahead click that and then mess around with your opacity there in the top right uh, also we have sort of the uh, sort of the bubble effect for these apps which Samsung has been including for quite some time this is not not new whatsoever and of course we can full screen that so definitely uh, you know play with notes create notes and all these of course are going to be saved inside of the Samsung notes app boom right there beautiful
All right, next up, I want to talk about Smart Select, and it is arguably my favorite thing on the Galaxy Note series. So let's say, for example, well, here, let me sure so show you everything it can do. Um, so we've got the rectangle tool, a lasso tool, a circle tool, GIF maker, GIF maker, as well as pin to screen. So if I just wanted to say smart select something, that's easy to do. It's just a rectangle and then I can take that and uh, do whatever I need to. If there's text there, I can extract it. I can pin that to the screen, etc. And that same thing uh, is it goes for the lasso tool and the circle tool. All that doesn't change. But where it really gets cool is just the built-in GIF maker. So let's say, for example here, I wanted to make a GIF of, oh my goodness, oh god. Let's say, for example, and we're gonna do this the right way. Let's say, for example, I wanna make a GIF of dogs dancing and getting down. No problem. All I have to do is say, go to YouTube, find dogs dancing, and now, right here, we've got video. That's a little Shiba Inu, it looks like, dancing around. Uh, gorgeous. What we're going to do is we're going to just smart select that, change it into a GIF, move that smart selected box right here towards the video, hover it right there. Uh, we can change the quality. There's high quality, standard quality. I just sort of, I just go with standard just so I'm not eating up too much space. And then of course, uh, you just hit record. And then so what that's going to do is it's going to record whatever's on the screen and turn it into sort of a moving picture or a GIF if you will. And then we can stop and now uh, we can just exit out of the video. And right now, now I've got a GIF, a shareable GIF. I can share that to Twitter. I can save it to my gallery. Uh, it's really fantastic. And I just hit download to save it to the gallery. And honestly, that is like one of the greatest features on this device, uh, as silly as it may sound. Now, also a nice little touch is the ability to pin something that is on the screen. So let's say, for example, we're back into here. Um, I do the quick gestures don't worry I'll I'll show you how those work here in a second uh, but if we say pin to screen and we want to pin this picture and share it uh, we can go ahead pin that to the screen it's going to save the picture of whatever it is in your little box here and that's totally movable and let's say we want to send an email send that as an email to my friend and I want to send it to uh, I want to send it to myself uh, we'll go ahead click yes and now what is pinned to the screen is totally movable and I can drag that right into uh, right into Gmail and now that I don't need it anymore I can just exit out of it um, you can also save it to the device if you want but now I've got it as an attachment I'm just gonna just go say hey check this out and I'm gonna send it off and boom that's going to be in my inbox and I'm going to be laughing at that little dog jumping around so nice little things that uh, uh, Samsung is still building into into the S Pen for its functionality. I I think I love it. A uh, few more things to get through here: magnify and glance. So, real quick, for magnify, let's say you're looking at text that's a little small. Maybe the Droid Life text is a little small. I think we've gotten emails talking about that. Uh, we can quickly. Uh, click on that magnify and then read real nice and slow you can also of course change how much is being magnified so 150 200 250 300 let's go ahead change it to 150 and then all you do is simply hover over with the s pen and that's going to be magnified looks pretty nice uh, then also for the glance this is great for when you're typing in passwords that aren't saved let's say in the autofill or uh, Samsung pass so let's say if we glance now that whatever is going to be on there is going to be glanced. So say we're typing in a password in our banking app, but it's saved inside of say Google Chrome or something else. We can simply glance into Google Chrome and then back to what it is we're doing over here. So we're typing in our password. Oh, what's the uh, what's that crazy numerical chain? Uh, we can just go here, glance into it. And this works for any app. Um, so whether it be you know a banking app or Twitter or whatever, you can just simply glance into it. Uh, definitely a, uh, I love that. <laughs> and then, of course, Google Tran or, uh, Translate, which is powered by Google. So let's say we want to hover over that, uh, and we want English to Spanish. Well, Fitbit and Spanish should be Fitbit. Uh, how about personally? Personally, from English to Spanish, personalmente, personalmente. And you can, of course, change up the uh, languages, not a problem. You can go from um, Albanian, Arabic, 
Boss, Bengali, there's so many different options in there and that's powered by Google. So being able to utilize these things is important, right? You're, you're spending at least $1,000 for the new Note 20. You might as well get all the functioni functionality out of it. And of course, things like AR Doodle, which is not new. Screen right just captures a, a, a screenshot and then you can write on top of it, share it, save it to your phone and all that. Uh, these are all things you're definitely going to want to take advantage of if you're picking up this phone. All right, so a moment ago, you might have seen me get a little fancy with some gestures, and there's uh, quite a few things you can do with the S Pen. So going down here, let's just go ahead. We're going to dive into our settings here, go right into S Pen, and from here, we're going to see Air Actions. I wish they just would have called them Air Gestures, possibly, but that's okay. So there's a few things you can do. If we're, say, and when you're doing these, you always hold down the button and then do your gesture. So we've got... Uh, an arrow to the left, back, arrow, up, home, recents, uh, arrow to the right, smart select, arrow down, uh, and then screen right, uh, clicking, and then scribbling like that. Now, you can also choose what happens inside of select apps. So, under app actions, for example, let's say inside of the camera, you can see exactly what the S Pen is capable of doing. So if we do a single press, that's going to take picture, record video, double press will switch the camera, gestures, and then so you're holding down and then flicking up, switch camera, sw uh, swiping to the left, next mode, and that is capable in a whole ton of different apps. Same thing for Snapchat, uh, Snapchat you can play with the shutter, switch the camera, and then also set different things. Um, the thing is the app developer has to enable different actions for gestures, right? So in Snapchat, all there is is shutter and switch camera. But say for example, inside of Chrome, uh, there's scroll up, scroll down, back, forward. And so there's quite a few things. There's even more in Chrome than there is for Samsung internet, I believe. Um, there is scroll down, forward, scroll up, do nothing. So it looks like Chrome has maybe a couple more functions, but I use Chrome. I haven't given Samsung internet a try. I know you know samsung people love samsung internet so shout out to all you guys and of course samsung notes it has its own uh, functions and all that good stuff too so let's talk about these real quick so say i want to go home here as i get the pen situated in my hand uh we, we'll, let's just say we want to go home i can just click do my little scribble and then you're going to see that the gesture was recognized and I'll be able to dive back in. So right now, if I if I do the arrow down, I'm going to get my smart select. That way, I can quickly make my gifs, pin to screen, and all that stuff. Uh, I can also eh, just go home. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I wanted to get to my recent apps. That's arrow to the. Is that arrow to the left? Hey, come on, arrow to the left, arrow to the left, arrow to the. Ah. Eh. Why are you being difficult? Here, let's figure out once more. If we go into air actions, recents, well, I don't know, it doesn't want to do it. So you'll get a little uh, uh, unhappy face, basically, uh, if you're doing something wrong. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but let's say we want to screen write. I, this has totally worked before, I don't know what's going on. Screen write, as long as you're holding the pen off of the camera, shouldn't be much of a problem. You're just going to click that, scribble, It'll screen right, and then I can just draw on top of that. So most things work uh, all the time, except for recents. Apparently. Oh, now it wants to work. So there's recents. Hold it down, arrow to the right, and then you'll be able to get to your recents and play with all that stuff. So that's Air Actions. Definitely know them, learn them, and take full advantage of Air Actions. Hey, so now we have our air actions and gestures all set up. Let's talk about utilizing the gestures inside of an actual application. And for this example, we're going to use Chrome. So inside of Chrome, there you like I showed you, there are quite a few things. Now you can double check what an app is capable of with the S Pen. If you tap on the little icon there and then hit the hit the actual app, you know, because the S Pen does recognize that. So a single press will take us back, a double press will take us forward, and then there's the gestures. We can scroll up, scroll down, go back, forward, and, and do nothing apparently. So the important thing to know is obviously the back and forward, scroll up, scroll down, and back. So let's say we're inside of Chrome and we just wanna go down. Uh, we're just going to simply click and go down, not back. We're going to, uh, the, the gyroscope is very sensitive, I will say. So we, when you wanna go down, you definitely need to go down. 
Yeah, so we're going down. We're scrolling. As you can see, it's uh, it's not going to be very jerky. I think that's thanks to the 120 hertz quad display on this thing. Um, but uh, so we can go down, and we can go back, <laughs> and uh, let's say we want to go up, and you're going to see the the gestures are getting recognized here in the top. And let's say we want to go down, go down. Yeah, so it functions pretty darn well. And again, inside of each individual app, you can click right there and see what it's capable of. So definitely a nice little touch there. And again, you can also, like I showed you just in that uh, previous uh, section of the video, you can see uh, each little action and customize those actions when inside of something. So uh, as I mentioned, uh, at the beginning of the video, this thing does have Bluetooth, which means it does have remote capabilities. So in order to take advantage of that, you're just going to be inside of a media app, say YouTube, gallery, etc. And we can just use clicks on the actual S Pen to control playback. So we're just going to go ahead, click the button, and then the video is going to start playing. <laughs> and that dog dancing is killing me. And click again. You can pause. Um, Pause the video. You can also volume up with just the single click and the up, and as well as a down. Inside of um, inside of these apps, just like the other ones, you can see what all it's capable of. So single press, play pause, play next track. This is going to work inside of Spotify. It's Bluetooth powered, so you're going to have all the basic. Th Imagine this were was an earbud. All the functionality of the earbud is going to be in here, except you're also going to have uh, just little gestures uh, for doing all the different things. So that's also uh, good to know. It's nice having all those little functionalities built into the S Pen, thanks to the uh, addition of the Bluetooth connectivity. All right, one of the last things we want to talk about is the Samsung Notes app. This application is what gets updated for Samsung to really show off what they're adding new sort of you know, functionality wise for the S Pen. And so a couple of the changes that I do want to talk about um, is about that individual pages. So what it used to be is Samsung Notes. It could just be like a long or like a single page or one long strip that you could write on. Now we have sort of a paginated view. And uh, if you just want to add pages, you can simply just start drawing on the next page and you can just go on and on and on. I don't think there's any limit to how many pages you want. Um, also, what's very nice is they've added the ability to uh, bring in or import a PDF. So let's say you're a very busy, busy business person. Uh, you can import your PDFs, write on all these things, and I just sort of highlighted a few things. So you can highlight different text. Um, you can obviously do anything you might need. What's cool here that I wanted to talk about is let's say this, for example, was a signature line. Uh, go ahead and I can just write on that, but it doesn't need to be a handwritten signature. They want to make it text. So let's say um, I was just going to write Tim W. And then I can quickly turn that uh, into text. Let's, you know, my name's not Jim W, but that's totally fine. I could just correct it, Tim W, convert that, and then boom, and then I can smart select that and I should just be able to drag it over and drag it right there so now I've got my my non handwritten signature right on a line there very easy to do and they've also added in that same thing that I showed you it was the same as the um, when the in the creating notes uh, from this section right here and let's say if we were writing on top of something I put August I want needed to auto align that it's going to bring that down and it's really it just kind of helps organize things it makes it look better so good to know PDFs are now in Samsung notes and of course the as long as you're synced up with your Samsung account on additional Samsung devices you can share all these files between devices and it should be super uh, super easy to do. Of course, uh, Samsung Notes has its own sort of settings things. You can manage your folders, get into page templates, unlock methods, convert old notes into new notes. There's really like a ton of great things you can do inside of Samsung Notes. I haven't even mastered a quarter of them. There are literally so many different things you can do. Import pictures and draw on top of those. I mean, it's you know the, the possibilities are endless if you're really into <laughs> note taking. So. Uh, lastly, I just want to leave you, I want to go over more of the S Pen settings here, just real quick. Uh, we talked about air actions, uh, screen off memo, this was the first thing we went over. Um, air view, 
So this is on. So for example, you can preview info, text, and images by hovering S Pen over the display. This only works for select applications, like say the Samsung calendar, say you're inside there, you can hover over a date and see the details for that day. Um, that's always nice known. Of course, it works for the gallery app as well, hovering over pictures and thumbnails and being able to preview those items. And it's, uh, from what I can tell, it works best in Samsung applications. So, you know, you could try that, but if you're like me and you use Google Calendar and Google Photos, it may not help you out too much. Um, the floating icon, just this little guy here, that's that floating icon. Uh, Air Command with the pen button, so that's just clicking on the pen button, and then which will open Air Command. Um, let's see, the uh, pen proximity alert, be sure that's always on, because if you leave this somewhere, you know, that's not, it's not a free replacement. So if you get too far away, the pen, you know, gets left somewhere, the phone is going to alert you. And, and that's, you know, that's pretty much about it. And um, there's obviously a, like I said, a ton of stuff. This video hopefully isn't 30 minutes long, but there's a lot of stuff to cover because Samsung just keeps pushing more things into that tiny little stylus, which of course for no fans is totally awesome. Like you can't go wrong there. So if you know of any like special little tips and tricks that I didn't mention here, feel free to throw them down in the comments. I'd love to learn more about the S Pen. I, I think I'm, I'm becoming more attached to it, I guess you could say. So uh, if you have any questions or comments about the S Pen, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I'll try and get to those. And yeah, shout out to all the Note fans out there and the S Pen lovers. <laughs> and we'll catch you next time. Peace.